Hey everyone, today we're going to look at what I consider to be the best way to install Synology's DSM 7.0 beta. We're basically going to set it up as a virtual machine. We're going to take a snapshot before we set it up as a virtual machine so you're able to roll back to DSM 6.2.3 if you'd like. And when we're finished setting it up, you'll be able to test DSM 7 without impacting your production NAS. The one disclaimer with this is not all Synology NAS devices support Virtual Machine Manager and that's what we'll be using to install this. So I have written instructions in the description of the video and I have a link there where you can check to see if your NAS supports Virtual Machine Manager. Also, there's a prerequisite to this video where you have to install Synology's DSM virtually. I created a tutorial for that already, I'll leave a pop-up for that now, but you have to install DSM virtually before you're able to upgrade it to DSM 7. So after you install Synology's DSM virtually, you have to download the DSM 7.0 virtual DSM image. Make sure you download this one in specific because we're going to be installing it virtually. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to power off our DSM virtual machine. We're then going to create a snapshot for it. And the reason for this is because this will allow us to roll back to DSM 6.2.3 if we'd like. So basically, you can upgrade to DSM-7, test it out. If you determine that you have to roll back to DSM-6.2.3 for whatever reason, you'll be able to roll back to this point in time. Once the snapshot's done, power on the virtual machine again, and when it's fully up, you're going to navigate to it. So you have to make sure that you're navigating to the virtual DSM IP address. I suggest that after you get to the virtual DSM instance and you're positive that you're there, close out of the, uh, of the tab of your local NAS. This is just so that we're absolutely positive we are upgrading our virtual DSM instance. When you're there and you're logged in, you can go to the control panel, update and restore, and then select manual DSM update. At this point, you're going to select the virtual DSM 7.0 beta file that we downloaded earlier. Read through the terms and service, select the checkbox if you agree, and then select next. It's then going to prompt you and let you know that the installation is going to take about 10 to 20 minutes to finish. If you do want to proceed, select yes. After a few minutes, you're going to be able to navigate to the IP address of Virtual DSM and you're going to see that it's getting everything ready. It's basically updating the database, it's updating all of your packages, and it's getting ready for you to actually use it. After it finishes, you will be brought to the DSM 7.0 login page, so everything here is new. Now log in with your Virtual DSM username and password. You'll be brought to a page that shows you what's new in DSM 7.0. I'm not going to be going through any of that in this video, that's a little out of scope. We're just looking at how you can install DSM-7 virtually. At this point, you can open up the Package Center, you can join any betas for any packages that you'd like, and feel free to play around with DSM-7.0. So you're not actually doing any of this on your local NAS. I mean, you technically are, but it's running virtually, so they're different instances. Whatever you do on virtual DSM will have absolutely no impact on your local NAS. So you can feel comfortable with your testing. Now let's assume that you're done testing DSM 7.0 or you need to roll back to DSM 6.2.3 for some reason. Open up your production server, your production NAS, navigate to Virtual Machine Manager, power off the DSM virtual machine, select Action and then Snapshot List, and at the next screen you're going to select Action and Restore to this snapshot. So this will be the most recent snapshot, the snapshot we created right before we installed DSM 7.0. If you do want to roll back, select OK. And then it's going to come up and it's going to ask you to enter your password. The reason for this is because anything you did on DSM 7.0 at this point will be erased by rolling back to this snapshot. So if you'd like, technically you can create a DSM 7.0 snapshot, but that's up to you. Once you do that, give it a few minutes and you'll see that virtual DSM is now back to version 6.2.3. So that's pretty much it. Now this is obviously a biased viewpoint, but this is what I consider to be the best way to beta test any new versions of DSM. So unfortunately, not all devices uh, are able to run Virtual Machine Manager, and you know that's unfortunate. But if you're able to run it, I think you'll be very happy installing it virtually. You pretty much have your own sandbox environment to play around and do whatever you like without messing up your production NAS. So if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks, guys.